Hi, my name is Juan, and welcome to Real Talk with Artie and Juan. Our subject today will be about Chinese restaurants. Artie, what are your thoughts about Chinese restaurants? You know, I'm not a fan of the, the uh, Chinese food. Maybe because, um, I don't know, I always kind of get sick to my stomach. Um, but I do like rice, you know. Um, how about you? Do you like Chinese food? I like Chinese food. It depends where I go. I mean, yeah, some places, if they're really shitty and, and low quality, yeah, you're going to get sick. I mean, I've been to places where it looks like they use mop water for part of the broth. No, they don't. They don't. No, they don't. 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 Okay, that is... <laughs> Don't do that. That's totally <laughs> okay. Now we just offended everybody in the audience. Cheers, man. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know. I mean, there's you have to find a really good Chinese restaurant. All the rest are just like it's it's always going to be bad. The service they're always rude. They tell you they get the fuck out, and then when you ask for like soy sauce, God, it's like you got to fight with them to get more soy sauce. They're like, oh, why do you need more? One's fine. You're like, no, no give me, no. give me more. What the fuck? Are you gonna leave this to your children? You have like, you're hoarding all the soy sauce and sweet and sour. Give us all of it. You're, we're in America. Yeah. We're not healthy to begin with. They just, they just. I mean, because they're cheap fucks, right? No, I'm sorry. I apologize, Chinese people. But why do they, do they always know karate? Like, because didn't you see Bruce Lee? Didn't you see Bruce Lee? <laughs> no, they don't know karate? Okay. Considering you're half Jewish, you guys love Chinese restaurants. I don't understand it. You're saying something politically offensive, buddy. Oh, and you weren't? What was that all about? I wasn't. That was a compliment. It's like fast. That, that, that is never a compliment. <laughs> yeah, it is, man. It's totally a compliment. So you don't even like... It seems like every time I try to get you to go to a Chinese restaurant, you refuse to go. I don't like Chinese food. That's why. At all? No uh, Chinese food? You know, if it's like kind of a cross place with like Thai food, I could do Thai. What if it's a high-end Chinese restaurant? Would you consider going to that, or you just don't like Chinese food in general? Um, if it's high-end, if I'm in the mood. I mean, the standards are high. They can't be uh, rinky-dink shit you know? I mean, the thing is, you got to watch out for shrimp and seafood with those Chinese places. You know what I mean? Why? Because they always well, throw in octopus all the time. They what's always wrong with put, octopus? Well, I don't tell you about it, man. Oh, they don't tell you, know you about what? octopus. They just put it I, in. Oh, I had a... meat of the week. Oh, da, da, da. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got to stop with that. Um, what you would call it? Um, I went on a date a long time ago with my ex-girlfriend, and we went to a Chinese restaurant. She was a vegan, right? And it's funny because, you know, when you ask them questions like, oh, is this GMO, GMO free and or whatever or gluten free, they just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> Because they're just, they don't give a shit. They just want their money. I think they can't understand what you're fucking saying. No, they the can't. Time. No, I mean, some of them, you know, it's like their first job. So families help each other out or friends. So they hook them up and they set them up so that way they can uh, acclimate into the United States and, you know, simulate. But uh, it's funny because she's like, she was eating one of these patties and I knew it was pork patty, but she was like, wow, this tastes really good. <laughs> and I was like, well, yeah, it's meat. <laughs> you know, of course, that's what meat tastes like. Meat is awesome. And she got sick. She got mad. She's like, what the fuck? You know, I mean, all they know is pork, check, and rice. <laughs> I'm like, oh, don't be like that. I mean, you should know that there's no way that that would have been a vegetarian, like, substitute because everything vegetarian just sucks ass so if it tastes good you know it's bad for you from the get-go oh i don't know i'm not well yeah you're probably right 
The way to oh. go, though, the way to go is to go with a Chinese friend because then you could get this kind of blend in. Well, number one, he wouldn't take you to the places that you picked. He'd be like, oh, you guys been going there? Uh -oh. Yeah. He's we don't go there. Well, I'm Chinese, Chinese and I know not to go there. That place is a shit hole. It's the same thing. Like if I go to Mexican restaurants, and I man, some people go, man, this rice is really good. I'm like, that rice, that rice is shit, you know. But you don't know any better. You think this is a bee's knees, but in reality, that's like the most peasant ghetto fucking rice ever. So. Well, how the fuck do you fuck up? I've been rice? to a Chinese a retard, restaurant man. and. and they soak it up in rat piss urine or something. How do you fuck up rice? Seriously. It can yeah. happen, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, can... how the fuck do you, I mean, you put water and. Well, where, do you, where do you like to go eat? You like Mediterranean food, don't you? Yeah. I mean, it's, they still kind of have attitude. Where do you go? I, uh, but what's your favorite place to go eat? I like uh, Pita Inn uh, and, uh, over in uh, Skokie, but yeah, I like that place too. You're the one who told me about it. There was a place you miss that was it by... since you live over over way over there. I've been a few times, and it's pretty good. It's like, but you know, um, I don't know if you ever seen uh, what's his name, um, Ram Ramsey, Gordon Ramsey with the the Hell's Kitchen. Have you ever seen yeah. that show? Well, I learned. I've a seen lot both about... versions. You got to learn. You, he teaches you how to pick up on shit restaurants. You know what I mean? There's little oh, signs. Like if you go in a restaurant and the fucking menu is like five pages, you know it's going to be shit. shit. It's going to be shit because it's all frozen shit back there. If it's oh. a small menu, it's going to be good. You know what I mean? Oh, that's they, pretty smart. Yeah, because they could use uh, the same ingredients and different fresh ingredients in different dishes. So but, That's pretty smart. I know that, that makes sense. Because then if you have a 20-page, you're like, wait a minute. They're not all cooking this all the time. Yeah, this is something like random shit. You know, they do cop attitude sometimes, too. It's like, you know, at the, at the restaurants. I've been to some Chinese places in, in San Francisco where they're just fucking rude, man. I've been to one, and then eventually I just say, hey, what the fuck is your problem? And I get hard with them, and they're like, oh. I'm like, hey, you better chill the fuck out, man. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but, you know, it's going to get real if you keep talking to me like that. I'm Chinese the one fucking ninja. paying. I'm like, I'm the one paying here. Don't fucking yell at me, motherfucker. He's a fucking Chinese ninja. Don't fuck with him. He can do anything he wants to do with your food, you son of a bitch. Well, ninjas are Japanese, but, you know. Oh, shit. Fucking that. <laughs> he totally... It's <laughs> your ignorance is shown. <laughs> oh, you know about the culture. Oh, dude. Um, <laughs> so where do you where do you go eat at uh, Mediterranean's mostly? Uh, I've been eating at home, man. With this COVID shit, I've been just cooking shit. I cooked all the food last, yesterday. You know, I've seen uh, since it's getting cold now. Uh, it's getting ridiculous. People are eating. They have those uh, fire pits, you know, like uh, with the stones yeah, to keep them warm. And I'm just like, oh, my God, this isn't going to work. You know, it's just. It's and just, it's bad, man. It's bad for the businesses because I don't see them protecting them. You know, they go, oh, but COVID's going high. I'm like, yeah, I get it, but. What are these businesses are supposed to do to keep afloat, you know, because you're not protecting them. Oh, well, they can sign away for this. I'm like, it's not enough, you know. I think in reality, I think what they're doing is some kind of gentrification with the restaurants where they get rid of these restaurants and they bring in new restaurants so they can make more money off of it, you know. It's almost like because people can't afford to stay afloat just to rent a space, just to rent a space, you know? I mean, five, 10, 15 grand a month to rent a space when you're not making any fucking money. It's you're like, not making any fucking money. And, you know, no. I feel like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? I mean, they, these, but if you're allowed to go on a plane and everybody's sitting next to each other with a mask, but yet you can't eat at a restaurant or go to like uh, stadiums, 
it kind of defeats the purpose. Why do you make an exception to the rule and say if it's okay for you to do this, but you can't do this? It's like, what? Life's not fair, but this is bullshit, man, this lockdown crap, dude. Uh, I looked up how many people died of the flu. It was 750,000. And we're like a, a lot million. of people. Well, yeah. I mean, it's still, I still think COVID's a very serious thing. But for the people who don't really, aren't really, they're pretty good about it. I mean, <clears throat> I think I get sick. I get a slight COVID strand in there once in a while. Like, I'll feel like my throat's getting tightened. I'm like, oh, shit. You know? <laughs> But it goes away because, you know, I'm one of those people who can deal with the COVID. Now, I know there's people who don't, and it's like my advice to them is stay the fuck home because you're a bubble boy. You know, no offense. But I don't want to get them sick. But at the same time, if if your body isn't meant to deal with it, it sucks to be you. But for us, I think we could deal with it pretty good. But then, you know, there's factors. You might have somebody living with you who doesn't have it like that. So now you're like, ah, shit. You know, I can't think about myself. I got to think about these people. So I know I, it's it's one of those sacrifices, man. You want to play? <laughs> you got to make some sacrifices at the same time. You're like, well, I'm, I'm sorry, sick baby. Of it, man. I'm fucking I'm sorry, it. baby. I can't hang out with you no more. You got to go. <laughs> I, I did go to, it was weird as I went to a gun shop like a week ago and like no one was wearing masks in there. It was awesome, dude. It was just like, nah, da, 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 da. no one was wearing uh, masks. Uh, those people are probably crazy. Uh, something happened with the, something snapped. Oh, wait, where'd you go to the gun shop? Uh, I went to, well, Okay. I went to a gun shop and there's no, no one was wearing masks. I was just looking at guns because it seems like the thing to do nowadays, you know, arm up, you know, are you going to get a gun? Do you think still, I thought it calmed down a bit. I feel like buying a gun too. I think guns are pretty cool. Yeah. That's where uh, the conversion happens slowly, but surely turn into a non firearm person. And all of a sudden you are, Mr. Fucking Ammo, you got 35,000 oh, rounds and you got shotguns, you got M16s, handguns, knives, and swords. Bows well, I have, I do have swords, I do have knives, I just need a shotgun and a gun. That's, that's my part of my collection. And that'll be all right. What well, do you thanks. need a gun for for your house? You should just get a shotgun. I don't know. I was going to get a 12 uh, gauge going on. I was going to get like a police shotgun where you load them up and it has like five yeah, or six rounds. Yeah, and then you just go nuts and just go at it. What I was going to do is I was going to put, I was going to buy three non lethal rounds at the first part of the chambers. So like salt rounds, like two salt rounds and then a bean bag and then a real round after that. Two more real rounds. So like so you tell them uh, you're, you're fucking around. Well, because then you could just shoot them right away. Once they break in your house, you just blast them without even saying freeze, and they get fucking you know, salted good, up. Do they have? Do they have? What? What did you say? It's salt only for rounds. Sh- yeah, it's salt in the in the shotgun round. Does it hurt when you shoot at somebody, Fuck, or is yeah, it just dude. confetti? It's, no, no, no. <laughs> it goes through shit. It's like confetti. You're like, ah, oh, happy birthday. It'll go in your skin and then just get you. It's like rubbing fucking salt in your room wounds, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoot him right in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Turn You're around. Bad boy. Boom. Yeah, You're that bad. sounds cool. I do that. You know what? I should just get me a shotgun. You like rock and load. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to saw it off, too. You can't do that. I think it's illegal. Fuck it. I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> it's illegal, dude. You can't do it. I'm doing it. I don't care. All this right. is America, baby. I'll do whatever I want. I'll saw it off and make it a custom job, put a laser scope on it. It'd be beautiful. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh. polish it up. And I'll dip it in chrome. <laughs> shine it up all day <laughs> and it'll fucking it'll be beautiful I'll be the coolest nice. motherfucker on the block no Real Talk with Artie and Juan <laughs>